parking in the restricted area, and hopefully we're legal. One wing in the restricted area. All right, so we're paralleling it right now. The restricted uh, course right there? Yeah. I think the boundary is right there by those... Uh, Okay. Our lines. Let's give them a call. 13465. Com 2. Sea Lord. Lake 2536. Pop. Over. That's on zero one three four point six five. 13465. Our incident 6710. Our goal. Cool. Okay. Sea Lord. 2536 pop. Understand restricted areas are cold. A firm. A firm. He said A firm. A firm. Good. Beautiful. There nice we job. go, Bob. Nice job, Al. And we're getting this down, you know? At last we're finally getting it down. Were we able to get a hold of them? They're paying attention. A lot of times they weren't paying attention. Remember that? Yeah, we'll call and we'll get uh, any uh, sort of satisfaction. So we got some clouds coming up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be right at the base of these clouds. Yeah, but they're scattered and... Yeah, know. we're all right, we're all right. And they're lifting. Uh, it's too bad Arena, Arena couldn't make it because I think she'd have loved this flight. So the restricted areas are cold, and he said affirmative. A firm. And it's all recorded. Your voice uh, message was recorded. His uh, response to you is recorded. So we're we're good to go. Twenty-three miles to go, Bob. It would really be nice for Arena to be able to talk to us and hear what you're saying and what we're doing. Right. You know, it means something. If you were just going for an airplane ride, it'd be different. You don't have to know anything. But if you're interested in it, like you sure interested, she, you know, she says, uh, avoid continuous contact, you know, uh, continuous operation. Why well, I didn't say that, she says, you know. I sent her information about that. Yeah. She's asking these questions, so she's a smart little girl. Well, she's an engineer. She's an electrical engineer. That's as smart as they get. <laughs> but you think you think she's really interested, though? I think she is. I've talked to her about it, but she said, I just can't afford it. I've lost my pension from Russia. I've lost my pension from Russia. I can't afford it. Flying is out of sight. I mean, it's so expensive. Oh, so expensive. Oh. I was thinking maybe one time you and I could uh, rent a 172 and we could split it, the cost of it, and, and you could sit in the... Uh, Right seat if you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, sit in the left seat. Take her up and show her how to fly the plane. And I'd just be in the back seat for a ride, so uh, I'd be, uh, you know, just putting the cost with you of the airplane. Did you that, that would be a nice gift to her. Did you mention that to her? No, I did not. I didn't want to say anything to her until I talked to you. Yeah, that's see fine. If you, see if you would be comfortable doing that. I, I don't know if you'd be comfortable in the right seat and let her fly, or you, if you're more comfortable in the left seat, let you fly. She can fly from the right seat just as well. A new pilot, you know? Yeah, I'm okay in the right seat. Okay, put, put her in the left seat, otherwise she's not going to get anything out of it. Okay, put her in the left seat, and, uh... Yeah, well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go up with you. We'll rent the 172, but I'll go up with you and do a few touch and goes, and you fly from the right seat. I'll just sit here like a dummy. And you say, hey, I'm comfortable, I feel okay over here. Then we'll put her in the left seat, and I'll get in the back. How would that be? That's fine, Bob. Just, get, just to get you a little bit, because, you know, get you a little familiar with the 172 and feel, feel comfortable for your landings. Yeah. Yeah. That would be perfect. I think 
that would be nice, nice thing to do, you know, it'd be such a thrill for her. She loves it so much, it'd be a thrill for her. Yeah, well, you know, you know her pretty well. I don't know her. Yeah, no, I know. And I know her through tennis. She's a very nice girl. And my heart goes out to her, coming over there from Russia to take care of a son that's having problems. And yeah, because of the sanctions, she can't get out of money, right? Right, because of the sanctions, she can't get her pension anymore. So she says she's got to get a job. And he doesn't work, her son doesn't work. I don't know if he got... He probably has insurance because he, uh... Where is she living? He had a good time. Uh, Does Lake she Mary's live with him? Yeah, Lake Mary somewhere. Yeah, she lives with him. Oh. Up there in Lake Mary where? Somewhere. But I don't know where. Well, if you you can... You talk to her, you can propose the idea. And yeah, I'll, I'll say to her that Al and I would be willing to take you up and, uh... You know, no cost to you at all. We'll just do it as one of our joy rides that we do anyway. <laughs> we'll take her out to Cedar Key. That would be nice. Take her to lunch. Let her fly the plane out to Cedar Key. And you and I will split the airplane and uh, it's on us. I mean, that would be a dream come true for her because she always wanted to do it, she said, but never had the chance. Oh, sure. You don't meet many people like that. Flying over some kind of a military operation here. I'm looking at a tower, and I'm looking at a bunch of uh, huts, huts right there, and a big circle of huts over here. Yep. It's almost like a target. I see some vehicles down there. Yeah, they drop bombs here too. Yeah. It looks like a dirt road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's something in there. So they set things up. I told you they found a World War II bomber in Lake Kerr. World War II uh, fighter uh, torpedo bomber, I think. Wow. In uh, Lake Kerr. They found it uh, well after the war, maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, there was a drought up there and the, the uh, vertical stabilizer was sticking out of the water. That could be something the boat could have hit, you know? So they pulled it up, and you know, the wheel still turned, the machine guns had bullets in them, the whole thing. Preserve the preserved airplane. Incredible. Yeah. I guess water can preserve stuff. Well, there's Lake George. Yeah. Pretty big. Yeah. I don't see any traffic, Bob. Very good. I like this to be dedicated to traffic. Yeah. See, so I when I see traffic, I got it here, and then here I got a map. Yeah. Did you find your iPad? Yeah, my iPad's in the back seat. Oh, okay. It's in my bag. I think I was at home, actually. I had forgotten it. Ground speed's 108 knots. Geez, that's pretty good. At only 2200 RPM, uh, manifold, 22 inches, 22 inches, 24 uh, RPM. I said we were wheels up at uh, 930, right? I think it was 940. I put, I put 940 up, I might be... I uh, might wheels be. up 940? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, 935 was engine start. Yeah. All right, so... It's only, uh... 10 o'clock now. It'll be a half-hour flight. Yeah. Beautiful flight, though. Not much to see. Just forest. I would say if we had an engine out right now, we had to put it down. Call this guy right here. What thirty four six five?
Mayday, mayday. Well, let's hope not. Say again? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. <laughs> we, we fly continuously, hoping not. We've done it all our life. Fly continuously, hoping not. I see Lake Kerr. Oh, I'm sure you do, Bob. You know, I had that surgery done. Yep. This looks like a new panel. Nice and bright and crisp. That does look new. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is clear, too. Yeah. You can read it. Yeah. I think he might have put a new face on it. We're going to find out. They do that, put new faces on these radios. I could use a new face. Well, I'm glad he got to it. Yeah. We'll find out what was wrong with it. A little less than eight miles, Bob. Okay. I think the wind uh, was at uh, 240. We got a, basically a westerly wind. I looked up Ocala, a westerly wind. Thunderstorms are starting around 1 o'clock in Ocala and in Leesburg. I mean, uh, yeah, Ocala and Leesburg around 1 o'clock for thunderstorms. Right. So we should be landing t toward the west. We'll see what the, uh, we'll see what the glassy water looks like. It looks like a landing uh, with the approach right over Kaufman Island. That's what it's looking like to me. That's Kaufman Island, right in the middle of the lake. Yeah, I see it. We usually come in over that way. Yeah. I think we, I think we got a westerly wind. If you, you mention that to Irina. Yeah, I'll mention it to her. See what she thinks. I can get the plane. Oh, no, no, I'll put the plane with you. That's, that's going to be expensive. I'll put the plane. I'm going for a ride, too. I'm going to be in the back seat. Yeah, and then it'll have jacks in the back so you can listen. Yeah, that'll be nice. Do you have anything she could read about elementary uh, education on fly? Well, she can, she can get it all on the internet. Yeah, yeah, that's what she should do. Look it up. Download some information. There's plenty of videos. Yeah. Yeah, the videos are really better than a book. Extra full rich. Wheels are up, all is clean. It's gonna be a water landing. Yep. We're gonna come in over the cabin. I oh, we want it. I'm gonna turn right, and we'll get over the cabin, turn right, make a left base, and come in over Kaufman Island. See the, uh, see the streaks in the water? Yeah, I see them. They're from uh, 240. Zero, just about, I think. That's Little Lake Curve over there. And that's Salt Springs over there. Yeah, right. Oh, it's a beautiful area. Yeah. I don't know, though, for a city boy, it's a little bit isolated.
Okay, make sure full ridge. Propeller's gonna come full forward. Flaps are gonna come down. Hydraulic pressure is good. Hydraulic pressure is good. Flaps are down. There is a boat in the water. Okay. You see my cabin? He's heading what's that way. You see my cabin? I think so. But just to your right. Ah, uh, yeah. See it? Yep. I'll be darned. Okay, wheels are up. Hull is clean. Flaps are down. Mixture's rich. Propeller is full forward. Uh, we got no obstacles in the way. 700 feet. No traffic. American flag flying right there on the island. Boaters come here and boaters come here and um, see it. They uh, beach their boats here and there's a nice, nice sandy beach. Nice sandy beach. Okay, we're 200 feet coming over the island. Yep. And see we'll, the boat, right? Yeah, see the boat. Go we'll ahead this way, I guess. Okay, let's set up our 60 miles an hour here. Yeah, it's looking good, Bob. Yeah. boat has moved over to the left. Yeah, I see him. A lot of paddle boats over there, Bob. Yeah. But nothing in front of us. Okay. Two hundred feet a minute, one hundred Okay, you can drop my water butter. Yeah. 
Hey, water rudder's down, Bob. I gotta unbuckle that belt. Ah, where's my cabin? You're headed straight for it. I am? According to the chip map. Nice day for it. Yeah. Now he's put his pontoon back in there. We're going to be a little bit tighter. Yeah, that breeze is pretty good. Water rudder is down. Yes. I'll leave it down. That day I bumped that pontoon boat, I had pulled the water rudder up for some dumb reason when I got right into the cove. Yep. And I shouldn't have done it. Big mistake. Big mistake. But you remember. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, that's a lesson you never forget. You never forget it. Somebody can talk about it all the time. It means nothing until you really, really get it. Okay, then our mixture will come lean when we get uh, a little closer. Yeah, we got a pretty good crosswind here. Oh, I yeah. think we're going to be protected when we get into the cove here. I may drag my, I may drag my right spots in through that grass. We'll see. Because I'm going to give him a pretty good berth. Pretty wide berth. So I'm aiming to kind of come. Just to the left of that bit of grass there, and that should be okay. We looking okay there? I think we're looking all right on our left wing here, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Right, right, right wing is good. Right wing's good. Left wing's good. Are okay. That's close. I don't like that freaking boat there. Okay. Radios, oh yeah, yeah, we should put our radios off before I shut it down. Okay, look at how clear that water is. Crystal clear. Okay, we're on at uh, 10.15. Actually, we'll run a little sooner than that. That nice? Yeah, 20 plus uh, 15 is 35 minutes. Yeah, I saw all those, those uh, were they paddle boats up there? There was a ton of them there when I landed. Yeah, a good day for it. 